It's, it's my, my pleasure, pleasure to invite Her Excellency, Excellency Ms. Belen Alfaro, Ambassador at Large for the Alliance of Civilization and for Interreligious Dialogue, on behalf of His Excellency Secretary of State, Mr. Ildefonso Castro, State Secretary for Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Spain. Welcome. Uh, Your, Your Holiness, Holiness Mr. Secretary, Secretary General of CAICID, distinguished, distinguished participants. participants. First of all, I would like to express the deepest appreciation of the government of Spain to the Secretary General of CAICID for the efforts that he is making in the direction of the center and in the development of its activities. The government of Spain uh, wishes also to highlight the important commitment of Saudi Arabia who envisioned this project and thank uh, His Majesty the King Salman of Saudi Arabia for the support to the center. Thank Austria for hosting the initiative and the Holy See as founding observer. The international community is now facing significant challenges. Globalization has brought a number of positive effects, but it has also brought tensions from cultural and religious differences. Violent extremism and terrorism cannot and should not be linked to any one religion, nationality, civilization or ethnic group. This is not a clash of civilizations. It's a confrontation between civilization and barbarism. This phenomenon cannot be confused with Islam. The majority of the victims of, e of the extremist groups are peaceful Muslims. Islam means peace. Faced with such a situation, the international community cannot remain silent. The projects that have been implemented. The presence of high-ranking religious leaders at this meeting is proof of their commitment to peace and ending violence. We need more interreligious dialogue. Religion is perceived by some as the origin of tensions. These perceptions hide the root causes of the problems that are political or social and not religious. Religion is not the problem, and on the contrary, it can contribute to the solution. Religion can be a peace builder and a peacemaker. We need platforms of religious leaders in favor of peace, especially in conflict areas where action is urgent and networks of local religious leaders who can reach diverse audiences fostering peaceful coexistence. In this respect, CAICID's initiative of the Regional Dialogue Platform for Religious Leaders and Institutions in the Arab World that will be launched in this conference is very relevant, as well as the work done by the United Nations Special Advisor for Genocide and the Responsibility to Protect and CAICID to, to develop, develop the first process and the action plan for religious leaders and actors to, to prevent incitement to, vi to violence that could lead to atrocity crimes, as well as the peace building programs of CAICID implemented in Africa, the Middle East, and Asia. I would like to highlight three priority areas for action. First, education. We need more intercultural and interreligious education. Education for common citizenship and education for intercultural understanding. Second, internet is the challenge of the future. We live in a network society. The voices of peace have to be heard in the net. Third, media. It's essential that media be used as a channel for dialogue and for promoting positive images of other cultures and religions. We need a communications strategy. CAICID has implemented very successful programs in these areas, such as the training program in social media with young religious leaders, the network of religious institutions on interreligious dialogue, or the International Fellows Program. Lastly, 
I would like to mention two initiatives presently promoted by Spain, aiming at dialogue and reconciliation. A summit of religious leaders for peace in the Middle East that was hosted in Alicante, Spain, and co-sponsored by the United Nations Alliance of Civilizations. More than 30 high-ranking Jewish, Muslim, and Christian religious leaders from Israel and Palestine met to engage in dialogue. They adopted the Alicante Declaration, calling for peace and moderation, and agreed to create a standing committee. Spain hosted also in Madrid the International Conference on the Victims of Ethnic and Religious Violence in the Middle East, co-chaired by the Ministers of Foreign Affairs of Spain and Jordan. The conference presented the Madrid priorities, which list the priority actions that must be addressed in four priority areas to help threatened populations and to facilitate their return, to maintain diversity and foster reconciliation, to protect cultural heritage and to fight impunity. Finally, to conclude, I would like to highlight that the promotion of tolerance and common understanding is a common endeavor, an endeavor of governments, international organizations, policymakers, religious leaders, young people, women, foundations, universities, and community leaders. Common cooperation is the only path for success. Thank you very much. ITV, Call of Peace.